So we're about 124 and dropping. Uh, usually I can hear it when it's dropping that fast out here, but it's kind of hard to hear. I'm gonna soap bubble everything out here. And the air handler is about 20 feet in the air, so I don't know if they have a lift for me to use. stabilized a little bit. Looks like it's a small leak. It's not dropping rapidly. There it goes. Put it on a pressure test mode. my starting pressure uh, my actual pressure the pressure differential and that's the timer so I'll give it about 10 minutes while I set bubble everything so after 10 minutes it dropped around 2 psi and the weird thing is I couldn't hear anything so I started using soap bubble everywhere that potentially could be a leak and look what I found I don't know how I couldn't hear that but pretty good sized leak right here thing is there's no oil anywhere um, maybe the unit wasn't running because it's been kind of warm some days and cold to the next day so I might need a I see the oil level it's a little bit low I might pump a little bit of oil into it she's a leaker uh, R22 150 foot line set. I'll show you a picture of the indoor unit. Looks like a two inch suction line. Uh, I'm gonna say close to 30 pounds of R22. I'm not sure if that's. I think they want to go back with R22, but it's up to them. I'm just. Here to tell them what's wrong and to fix it and they make a choice but we'll see of course I need to monitor it while it's running and check the oil level again uh, it, did, it does have a low pressure switch I don't know who did this but I'll see if I can put that back together it's a high pressure switch but I did shut it off so that's a good thing Let's go look at the, here's the mess of copper lines. We got these two accumulators just sitting there for this 20 ton. Oh, it's dark. Here's one unit up there. Here's our unit. That's well. So yeah, it's quite a long line to set. I 
exhaust <clears throat> just ran a little bit of nitro through the compressor and out the discharge line. Just put a little fat glob on there. And that way I didn't lose all the nitrogen that I had in the system. So we go ahead and close everything and open it back up and we'll leak check it one more time before I pull a vacuum. I'm gonna get some more R22. I have about a full jug, but I'm gonna get another one just in case. Um, I have my little stubby here holding it right underneath the 100. I'm gonna leave that. Um, I'll go pick up some stuff. I had a little micro bubble right here, so I might take this packing nut off and put some packing rope and some nylog, but. It's not leaking right now, I'll just put some bubbles on it. I tighten it up a little bit, but I guess we will tell when we get back. Back, I was gone for about an hour, but looks like we're money. Um, I had to go home and pick up uh, my Tez 8. I keep a 3 CFM pump, my JB, in the van, but I figured I'd get the Tez 8 for this unit um, it was leaking a little bit I tightened the, the nut I might have to make my own packing see if I can get to stop leaking but right now it looks like we're okay but <clears throat> I might do it just in just in case uh, still holding pressure so so I'm gonna start pulling a vacuum. I think we're good. I just had to tighten it up a little bit. I ran it in a few times in and out. I'll check the other one too before I start pulling a vacuum. Here's my vacuum setup. I'm gonna use uh, two half inch hoses and one three eighths inch hose. I'm gonna have to use this adapter. I wish I had a hose that had a half inch on one side and a quarter inch on the other side. I believe Appion sells one that's three foot long, so I have to get that one next time for connecting it right here to the half inch port. But my two half inch hoses are gonna go here. These are half inch with a quarter inch and three eighths. And then I'm gonna put my other uh, three eighths on either one of these. The bigger the hose, the better. So, I'm gonna put everything together. We'll see how long it takes. Check out this core. It's pretty cruddy. I'm gonna go ahead and replace all. Well, I'm gonna add one to that side just just because. But I'm gonna replace the other two. Keep it packed. Something right there. So, I always have them handy. Alright, I got everything hooked up in nylog. This is 3 8 by half inch. I thought I had a half inch by half inch to go up here, but you have to get that one. But, got my hoses hooked up. I'm gonna hook up my Micron gauge to the app. Then uh, start it and we'll see how long it takes. I start with all my valves closing and I slowly open them to let any air. Uh, let's try behind the ball valve out. So let's get started. I got everything running, everything's open. Check the oil. I might have to check the oil. Five minutes into evacuation and chill, and your vacuum pump gives you this look. I'll keep a gallon in the van, so and I just fill up my own container. It's a little cheaper that way. Easy to change the oil. It takes like 
five seconds, like I say, just spend maybe 10 minutes. We're at 12,000. So making pretty good progress. Well, I had to isolate the compressor and try to put some packing in this, uh, this suction service valve that is leaking. So I'm about to leak test it and hopefully it holds and then I'll finish pulling a vacuum on the compressor also. But the condenser coil line set and these after all good to go. 